Hi, I'm Donna Jordan from Jordan Fabrics. Today we're going to work on something really, really fun. This is kit. This is a kit from Moda Fabrics and it's called Farm Fresh, designed by Ginger Burr. And it's going to make a quilt, a nice quilt here, nice sized 48 by 60. So that's like a small throw size. And it's packaged in this beautiful box. We've got the pattern, the complete pattern. So even though the fabrics are in here, you could cut your own and make a second quilt later on. It's a great pattern. Look at how fun these fabrics are. We've got strawberries, we've got all kinds of stuff. So let's open this up and see what the fabrics look like. I like the fact that the exact amounts of yardage we need are all in here. Look at how fun these are. Darling chickens, oh my goodness, the cows. The first thing we need to do is to get these ironed up. So this is an area, this is a room that we actually work in. And so a lot of my stuff gets moved around because Matt might be doing cutting. And so I always have to come back in and get everything back in order. Everything is all ironed up and for a pattern like this it's really best if we label all the fabrics so we don't get mixed up which piece goes where. So all I'm doing is making a little sticky label and I'm putting one label on every piece of fabric. I followed the pattern to make sure I know which fabric is going where. I don't want to risk cutting any of these up incorrectly so it really helps if you label them first. I like to use these Avery products. These are stickers and you can get smaller packages of them, packages of them. But these, we use these for a lot of different things. So it comes off easy, it sticks onto your fabric and it stays put, but you can get it off without it leaving any sort of residue. I'm gonna go ahead, follow the pattern, get everything cut up. All the sizes are in here. Now it's not my pattern, so I can't give you all those sizes, but I've done ginger burr patterns before and they're always very easy to follow. I have all of the pieces cut for all of the barns. And so what I'm gonna do first is pull off the first barn and take it over to the sewing machine. So we're gonna start at the top of the barn. So we're gonna start right up here and we will build our barn from the top down. We're gonna draw a diagonal line. So you just need a straight edge here and we're just gonna go from corner to corner. Stitch right on that line. Next piece, we need to draw a line from this corner to where that red fabric ends there. So sometimes it's easiest if you put a little dot there, then we'll just draw from this corner to there. Add one more blue to this end. The line goes this way. So this one's gonna go here, and then we're just gonna add one piece right to the end. Sometimes to save time, I will just finger press this a little bit and trim with the scissors right here at the machine because then I can stitch the next piece on without having to get up an iron in the middle. So now this one goes right on there. This is the whole top row of the barn. So this is about the first bit there, that's the whole row. Now the second row has a little window in it, so that's what we're going to start with. That's going to be these pieces right here. So we're going to stitch one of these onto each corner. And if you're worried about which way the lines are going to go, if your prints are directional, you might have to spin it around so that when you open it up, all your lines are going the same way. So I'm going to put this in the corner and I'm going to stitch from corner to corner. And I have tape on my machine, 
This is painter's tape going right from the needle straight down. So on small pieces, I can put the tip right at the needle there and keep the far tip on the line of the painter's tape as I go up. And that will give me a nice straight line. Fits just perfect. Now we'll do the other four corners. Trim off again to a quarter inch, and I will iron it up. But there's our window. That's the little window right there. To make this little teeny slanted piece right here, we're going to do a technique I haven't done before. We're putting the pieces both right side up, and we're going to cut them from diagonal to diagonal. So I'm going to put the the edge right along the points and then we are going to use just these two pieces here we're going to put them right sides together and slide it up a little and stitch a quarter inch now we have all the parts and pieces we need for the second row so I'm just going to stitch it together and press the seams away from any patchwork or towards the darker fabric. Here's that second row. It's going to fit right here. So we've got the whole roof of the barn. The last row is this part here, and it's got this really nice patchwork motif in it. So that's what we'll do first. We're making quarter square triangles. So the procedure is to first make half square triangles. So I've drawn a line stitch on both sides of that line a quarter inch away and then cut down your drawn line. After these are sliced, let's get them ironed nice and flat. Once they're nice and flat, put them on a hard surface again and put these right sides together, light on dark, dark on light, and draw a diagonal line in the opposite direction of your last stitching. Line your patchwork up carefully and make sure that that center seam is matched and stitch on both sides of the line. Now when we cut this line here, we've got our quarter square triangles. So iron them up and they may need to be trimmed down to size a little bit. To make this star block, we've got cows in the middle, plain corners, and then the quarter square triangle blocks fill in here. So just make each row and then stitch all the rows together. Now we'll press these row seams towards the middle and that block is done. Now we're going to add a couple of borders to this block. They're already cut exactly the right size, so they stitch on really quickly. These skinny guys go on the top and bottom. And I actually like to turn it upside down so that when I stitch here, I can make sure that I go right over the point. Now we only have to make this barn door section. Pieces again, completely cut to size, so we can just stitch them in order. This is the last row for the barn, so everything's gonna fit together here. I'm just gonna sew these three rows together, then I'm gonna make the other five barns, and then all six will be done. I can't believe how fun these are to make. They really do look like barns. So I'm going to spread them out and see what order they ought to go in because we've got this nice red plaid, we've got this light plaid. So get your blocks all arranged the way you want them. I'm gonna stitch mine together, and then we'll go down to the shop and pick out a nice backing. Now the kit, it did come with the binding fabric. So I've got it cut here, and I'm gonna pick a backing that will look good with the top and with the binding. I think I'm gonna use a fabric that's solid or almost solid. 
because we've got a lot going on with the patchwork, so I think the back should be just a little bit plainer. Now a solid, solid, solid would be really nice, like the red here, but I think I'd like a little bit of texture. So we have some that have stuff like this. It looks like burlap. It's not, it's cotton quilting fabric, but I think we've got a nice blue. Yeah, this would look really good. We'll try that one. The quilt is all loaded up on the machine and I've got four color choices for threads. I don't want the thread to show too much. And I know the red will not show on the red, but it's going to show up quite a bit there, as is the black. If I could reel some off there. Blue would show some. I really think I'm gonna like this oatmeal color. Even on the red, it'll give it a little texture, but it won't fight too much of anything. So that's the color I'm going to go with. Now, I don't want the quilting pattern to fight with the patchwork, so I'm gonna do the simplest quilting, which is a meander. So I've got it already figured out here. So we're gonna tell it to start. And the machine's coming over. and we will let it do its job now. Oh yeah, that's gonna look really good. What a fun quilt to make. Everything was in the box. It turned out so nice. It's 48 by 60, so it's a nice lap size. I'm really happy with the meander quilting pattern. It gave the barns a lot of dimension. You can see the quilting on the back side. I love the blue on the back. Just an awesome project to make everything in the box except the backing. Thanks so much for watching our tutorial today on the Farm Fresh Quilt. We hope you enjoyed it. Happy quilting.